Why don't you put Archimedes? What we already had in Yeah, we're going to talk about some stuff we haven't talked about about him. Yeah. We're going to put how he found pi. That's what we're going to learn today. Can you tell me the years he was born and died? Wait. Hey. The Archimedes? Uh, it was... He lived in 287 to 285. Thank you, Cumin. 287 to 212 BC. Right before Christ? Mm -hmm. Well, 200 years before. Alright. Can anybody tell me what we use pi for? Times the um, diameter around here. Times the diameter of a circle to find what? To find the, the distance around it. Yep. Thank you. What's the what's the word for the distance all the way around the circle? Uh, circumference. Circumference. Thank you, sir. So he found a value for pi that still works today for all of our engineering needs unless we get really insane. <coughs> Here's how he did it. He took a circle and he wanted to know he wanted to know how far it is all the way around the circle. Now if it's like a bike tire you could just take a saw and cut it and lay it out and hammer one end down and come over here and measure it, right? But what if it's like a field? Green. Yeah. Can't, can't cut the outside of that and lay it out, right? So we have to have a mathematical way of figuring these things out. How big is a circle all the way around? So here's what he did. He put a triangle inside. Now, does anybody, has anybody ever heard what the shortest distance between <coughs> two points is? Um, half. Anybody, no one's heard that? The shortest distance between two points Radius? is a straight line. <laughs> okay? That's true. What if we have point point A and point B? I straight could line. That's longer. That's longer than what then? Going straight. straight. Straight through. Isn't there any way I can get to the other point <laughs> quicker than just going straight? Mm -hmm. No, no way, huh? Because any little deviate, even if I just deviate up a little bit and back down just a little bit, that's going to be longer, and right? Just a straight line. And if I pull, pull it out taut, then this mark here would come out to here, maybe, for it to come straight. So the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So Archimedes knows now that the three lines of his triangle are smaller than his circle, right? Because he's covering that distance in straight lines instead of round lines. So he knows it's smaller. Now, he's going to turn this triangle and splits each of these lines in half, finds the halfway mark. And he goes out here and draws a dot mm -hmm. here on the outside of the circle where the halfway mark is. And then he draws a line to the corner of each corner of the triangle. So he used to have a three-sided object. Now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this, uh, if you add up all those lines on the six-sided object, those come closer to being the size of the circle than the original triangle. Don't they? Yeah. they come closer than the original triangle, don't they? Now, he divided each of those lines in half. There, 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 there. Comes out to here. Puts a little mark out here on the circle. Then he draws a line each of those. Wow. Now he's got a 10? Well, let's see. We had six sides, and we cut each of them in half. So... So twelve. six sides Nine. times two would equal twelve sides now. Oh. Twelve. Guess what he did next? 
He did it again. Here's what he got to next. He cut each one in half. 12 times 2. 24. Cut each one in half, got to 24. Guess what he did when he got to 24? He did it again. So what's 24 times 2? 48. Yeah, 48. Thank you, Kuma. Guess what he did now? Split it again. Again, yeah. How? 48 times 2? It's a 72. 96, isn't it? Because what's 50 times 2? 100. 100. 48 times 2. Oh. Minus. It's only 2 less. 2 times 2 less. 4 less. 96. 4 off 100. 96. <coughs> this is where he stopped. <coughs> he got a 96 sided shape inside there. And uh, then he added up all the, the length of all those sides, all 96 sides, added them up, and he said, the value of the circle is a little teeny bit bigger than this number. And then he had a little 96-sided shape that he made on the outside, just so it would not quite come inside the circle. So the circle was in between these two 96-sided 96 straight sides, so we can measure how long the sides are. And he came up with this. He said the inside is about 3.139 something. And the outside circle is about 3.141. Uh, so it's like Three more? One more. Two more. Well, it's between these two. The value of the circle is between these two. It lies somewhere in here. You can't get much more precise than that number. $3.13 versus $3.14. That's what that is there. $3.13 and $3.14. And then, if we round this up, what would that go to? The 9 would round up to... Yeah, so that'd be... If we just round that up... That 9, we would have 314. And if we round this down, we would have, what would the 1 round to? Down. The 1 would round down to 0, yeah. right? So we'd have 314 on this side, too. So just rounding a little teeny tiny bit makes them identical numbers. So yeah, he found the value of pi to be 3.14. Where, where before, the Babylonians and in the Bible, for example, the value of pi was 3. Now that's going to screw up your calculations because that's going to give you a small, the size of a smaller circle than you were looking for for your diameter. It is. Yeah, three. Yeah, because you're looking, you're leaving out point one four. You're leaving out fourteen cents on every dollar of what you're multiplying by. You don't use this correct value for pi. So thank you, Archimedes, for <coughs> using a ninety-six sided triangular device to eventually get us to a value of pi, which we use today when we build skyscrapers you know and fly airplanes. What can we, we do? Could go 3, 6, 9, 12, or how, how I, let's say we're trying to get to 12 plus 14 four times. 12 plus 14 four times.